To the blonde, everything is money. When she was young, her body was the credit card which bought her drugs, kept her high. Later on, that same body bought her a future as a pet in a plastic house next to a canal with a yacht in the backyard that never sails. The blonde's friends are cash spent on new connections. The parties she throws spent on influence. The value of her superficiality soars and soars with each new person she meets, purchases outright with her charms. For the blonde, even the afterlife comes at a cost. Karma, as she puts it, bought and cataloged with good deeds and donations, a down payment on a heavenly condo in the great unknown's most fashionable neighborhood. When the blonde dies, she finds herself free of the prison of hair dye and makeup, but swaddled suddenly with action spent only with her eventual meeting with St. Peter in mind. The gnarled boatman at the edge of an afterlife that no one expects only smiles, shakes his head at her childlike innocence, then beckons her into the darkness.